I took over as Aston Villa's new manager with the goal to win them the Champions League. This episode, we kicked off season two by signing the right back Fresneda, and we played three games in the league and won all three of them in style. And currently, we are sitting top of the league level with Newcastle. But if we want to stay here, we need to make more signings. The squad currently is looking extremely strong, but we have a budget of nearly 250 million pounds. But one of our best players last season, Diego Carlos, left last episode episode for Milan, which means we're in need of a new center back. I put many options on the transfer shortlist. One of them being Sven Botman from Newcastle would cost a good 70 million. Timber from Arsenal, he'd cost around 40, would be a fantastic signing. But my favorite option is Saliba. He's six foot four, 83 pace, 85 overall at 23. This guy would be fantastic to sign. But it's currently transfer deadline day. And guys, look, he is in talks with signing for Real Madrid. Well, I thought it was just rumors, but if you check this out, it says offer accepted from Real Madrid, but we can still go in and sign him. So we have about 10 minutes before this deal is official for Madrid, and we're about to come in and hijack this deal. It will cost us a lot of money, probably more than Madrid, because we are a Premier League side. So I'm going to go in with a fat 72 million. What are Arsenal going to say to that? They want 74.3. Well, I don't want to accept their offer. I want to be a little bit difficult. So 73 million. And they say yes. I'm telling you, if we want to stay top of the league come end of the season, then we have to make this signing. Well, come end of the season, we, we want to be top four, of course. I think winning the league is, you know, not a realistic thought. You never know. Leicester did it. No release clause in this guy. He's already on 110k. But we want to convince him away from Real Madrid. So I'm doing it. I'm going to give him 180k a week, a 1 million signing on bonus. I want him coming to Villa, not Madrid. I can only think of one other team possibly having a better defense partnership than us, and that is Manchester City. We have Peu Torres, left-footed, and now Saliba at right center back. Wow, this defense, sure, by the way, since signing him, has been elite. All right, Saliba, I've just mentioned that. Martinez is absolutely incredible. And Matty Cash is amazing on the right hand side. One of the best defenses in the world. Last season, of course, we got fourth place. Champions League football, Arsenal came behind us. And we've just taken one of their best players. Looks like they're going to be staying behind us. The Champions League group stage has not yet been drawn. I cannot wait for this. That will be in today's episode, of course, probably in a week or so. But for January, which will be next episode, we have 164 million left so get your suggestions down below but for now deadline day no one coming in the club no one going out the club we've got our man saliba we are ready for the season you guys ready for this season then smash the video like and subscribe if you haven't i'd say one of the best things we've actually done in this series is making jacob ramsey a cam and putting him in the 11 we of course had john mcginn here at like a center mid position i did say during games with mcginn we just didn't notice him but with ramsey he's behind the striker and we've seen already how good he's been providing the ball to Watkins. It's going to get so many assists. Of course, our current tactical vision also changed last episode from balance to wing play. As we have Ganacho on the left, Diaby on the right, and so far they've been amazing. In fact, stats this season, five goals in three appearances for Watkins. He's been incredible. Three goals in three for Ganacho. He's now 20, and as I said, he's going to be on fire this season. But... Three assists in three games for Jacob Ramsey. I feel by the end of the season, whatever we've achieved, this guy will be the system behind it. And if the system works right here, Sheffield United don't have a chance. There we go. 3-0 win. Ganacho a brace? Did he get a hat-trick? Diaby with a goal. Ganacho is so good. The same thing here versus Brentford. 3-1 win. We're scoring so many goals. Ganacho again. Marino and Bailey, we rotated because we now have the Champions League. And before we take a look at our group, this is Group C. This is B, and that's A. There is Real Madrid. Liverpool and Bayern in the same group. That is not an easy group whatsoever. Group F. There's my beloved Barcelona playing City. Monaco, that's not an easy group. United, Milan. Milan, of course, is where Diego Carlos went, so we're not playing him. This is our group, which is pretty good. It's not the easiest group in the world. Roma, Villarreal, and Rangers, which Rangers is interesting because that's a British side, of course. But our first game against Villarreal. 
well. This is a massive challenge. Now, before our opening game versus Villarreal, Makoko comes to my office saying, boss, you haven't started me yet this season. I did really well in Europe last year. Of course, that was the Conference League, but I feel I'm ready for the Champions League. And again, you did promise me minutes. I replied saying, yes, you're right. I have been unfair not to start you yet this season. And I feel this is a good game to get you going. And I say that, but the question is, where exactly do we play him? Oh, Ramsey, the system of the side is tired. I intentionally rotated last match in the Premier League versus Brentford because I knew this game was coming up. If we take a look at his stats, he has good dribbling, that very good dribbling, good shooting, pace. His passing could be better. I'm actually going to risk it. I'm going to play him behind the striker. as a center forward. The only option for attacking runs that isn't red is target player and get him behind. So we'll just do that. The Champions League is here at Villa Park. And I'm really hoping we play well here because we're pretty much playing with two central midfielders. Oh, we slot that in behind there for Tillemans. If I chip that up, why not? Let's just go for it. Oh, there's no way. What a way to kick off the Champions League. He was in so much space. I thought, let's just chip it up. Get your foot behind that. That had an XG, by the way, of zero. That is just incredible. What a goal. Aston Villa, welcome to the Champions League. We haven't yet seen Saliba play. He has played a couple of games. I think we've conceded one goal whilst having him in the side. Is Makoko. Big chance. Nope. He always tried to hit it. It's kind of just fallen over. So Makoko really is just a striker right now. Ball over the top for Watkins. That wasn't it. Yeah, he's not a cam. He's just getting in behind. Nice bit of play there. Diaby now into the box. Just going to get it nope. across the box. Dangerous, but they deal with it. This side this season just feels different. It's almost like they're another level. And they were very good last season. Here's a good opportunity. Oh, what a tackle, Saliba. Now here's Diaby. Nice pass there, Watkins. Back out wide to Diaby. Can we get that second goal before halftime? Ganacho's in the box. What a ball. Ganacho, what a save by the keeper. The second half now. Diaby's on the right hand side. Watkins is making a run. We've got a lot of space there for Makoko. Over the top. Yeah, that's a goal. You can't miss it. What a fantastic finish. It's 2 0 Villa. Makoko gets his goal. He gets his start. He scores. Oh, it's a good day for him. Fantastic assist there from Ollie Watkins. That is amazing. I could have chipped the keeper. Let's just keep it simple. Makoko's making a run there. Ganacho through the gap. He's done this so many times before. Nice hand keeper. Villarreal really trying to get that consolation here. Come on, ref. Blow it. He's going to shoot. He does. Oh, come on. Get out. A few minutes at that. How on earth has Martinez let that in? Ziek with the goal. That is just horrible. I swear that was straight at him. It was. But back to the Premier League. We're absolutely flying. Five games played, five wins, three points clear from Man United. In fact, Manchester City, who you would expect to win the league, five games in, are five points behind us. And we're about to find out how good Man City are this season because we're playing them now at Villa Park. Still yet to lose a game. We have a few slightly tired players, but no reason to rotate anywhere. Yeah, if this side is something really good, it will show it in this game. Don't forget, last season, we did actually beat Man City 3-0, and that was at the Etihad. And to be fair, guys, if you think about it, last season probably was quite realistic. Villa could get top four IRL, and they're one of the favorites to win the Conference League, but we sadly didn't achieve that. Here's a good opportunity for City. Who on earth is this dude on the ball? That's a nice tackle. Oh, no, De Bruyne. He's passed a couple of plays there. What a hand there from Martinez. You cannot give space like that to Kevin De Bruyne. And, and a corner is dangerous as well. That's whipped in. We get it away, though. Ganacho, the man coming. Oh, look at that from Ganacho there to beat Foden. This guy is going on a run here. This is fantastic. Can he go all the way? He's got no real passing options. I'm just going to smash nope. this. Nice save. Rebound, perhaps. Defenders get there. Tell you what, City are playing a couple of their youth players, I'm pretty sure. Erling Haaland certainly isn't one of them. He's on the ball. He's very hard to tackle. Phil Foden, a <laughs> little one-two there. Come on, can we just get a foot in? This number seven, this dude, never heard of him. What a tackle there on De Bruyne. Right, we're approaching halftime. Can we find a goal? That's a run there for Ollie Watkins. Yes, take that on, Tillemans. Good stuff. Put that now up to Watkins. Turns his man. Here's Kamara. Flicks that up. For Ganacho, what a save. I should have played it earlier, Tim. I just didn't see him. Short from the corner. Diaby 
Get it back post. Or maybe shoot. There's a gap there. Diaby takes a block. Comes out to Ganacho. Good touch. The shot. Oh, what a save. That was going in. This is a massive second half for both sides. It's level. Ganacho now as an overlapping run there for Luke Shaw. Two United players getting involved. Back post. Diaby. Oh, Watkins comes to Ganacho. Head is it. Nope. Watkins, what a block. Here's Maddie Cash. If this was Tillemans, tell you what, this would be a very good oh, opportunity to score. Maddie Cash doing extremely well there. Look at that. Edison nearly caught out. I think we should do that more often. Is there any way I can get Tillemans to just stand there? When we get a free kick, I'll just put him at right back. Is Ganacho on that left-hand side? He needs some options. He's got the dribbling skill, of course. Onto that right foot. Yes, he's done well. Ganacho onto that right. Still Ganacho, what a save. Oh, no. Erling Haaland's in behind here. Oh, Erling Haaland's thrown goal. Big chance. Erling Haaland. Oh, it's a goal. Erling Haaland. It's not a chance he misses that. He was doing this every game in our Man City series. He's just elite. Well, I would have chipped that. But that's a fantastic low finish. So as it stands, this would be our first loss of the season. Brilliant pass out wide there. Diaby onto that left foot. Now I've got Jacob Ramsey. No, he's lost the ball. Referee will blow it. City could possibly score a second here with Haaland. Referee's blown it. That's our first loss of the season to City. In fact, guys, Ganacho is on another level this season. He's got six goals in seven appearances. Is there any way you can, like, edit a player's default celebration? Because we need to get this guy doing sue more. Oh, great. What a way to start off the Cowboy Cup. A competition that would be amazing to win, and we have a Liverpool. I think it's only fair that we basically fully rotate in this game. We'll get Diaby in the side, but I doubt Liverpool will be fully rotating here. So to get past them, we'll have to do well. Oh, this is a great opportunity. Diaby out wide there, Leon Bailey. Oh, surely this is a goal. Leon Bailey, I'm not going to sweat it. He tucks it bottom corner. It's 1-0 Villa. Anfield silenced. Wow, they're not silenced. They're loud as anything as always. Nope. Oh, what a challenge. Still Liverpool on the ball though. Salah, what a save. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. I thought he missed that. That's ball over the top there to Macau Cow. Oh, yes. It's Makoko, not Macau Cow. Pulls it back. Still on the ball. I want him to score. He rarely starts, but Coco! There we go. Fantastic. 2-1, fella. This guy is amazing. But that's the win. We beat Liverpool, and we're through to the next round. And after that, Makoko comes from office saying, boss, that's why you need to start me more often. Because when you do, I score. And I respond saying, I am very impressed when you play. I just wish I could get 12 players into the side. But I do promise you will start in more games this season. I know it's annoying, but just be patient and keep training hard. We now have Palace away, and it's a 1 1 draw. Wow, Diaby with the only goal for us. They're the big games that you don't want to drop points in. We now have Roma away from home. Ramsey is tired. So it, it looks like again that Makoko is going to have to come in at this position. You know what? I, I cannot be bothered to make him a center forward. He will just play as a cam. He's, he's good enough to do it. He gets a negative three. Who cares? Douglas Lewis, 84 over. I'm surprised this dude hasn't put in a transfer request or something because he's sitting on the bench at 84 overall. So Libra's tied, so we'll bring in Konza there. We have such good depth on this side. But an away win here in Italy would be fantastic. Diaby out wide. What? Why not? Straight in the box. Comes out to Ganacho. There's lots of space there. What a pass. Here's Diaby. Now we've found Watkins. Pretty sure he's offside. Douglas Luiz. Oh, what a goal. He chips the keeper. That is fantastic. But that is full time. Three points again in the Champions League. We now have Bryden at home. And it's another draw. Douglas Luiz scoring, though. And Jacob Ramsey. You know what? I'm so impressed with Douglas Luiz when we played with him. I'm just going to put him in the 11. So Kamara's now on the bench. I just want to see how we do with Douglas Luiz in the side. We need a bounce back here. Fulham away. It's a 2 1 loss. Wow. Now, Ollie Watkins, the only goal. Well, I guess the side's not doing too good with Douglas Luiz in the side. He got an overall match rating of five. He was the worst player. Are you kidding me? Rangers now in the Champions League, and we're going to fully rotate. But Kamara's coming back in the side because Douglas Luiz can't just play three in a row. I tell you what, he's not starting the next Premier League game. A 2-0 win with Makoko and Garnacho. But Douglas Luiz came on there and got a 7.1. Maybe the following game was a one-off. Now nine games in, we're actually fifth 
fifth in the league. Two points away from fourth United. We want to get back in the top four. Newcastle are one point behind us. We are now playing Newcastle United. So big, big game here. Douglas Luiz, yeah, you're out. Kamara is coming in. Ramsey's slightly tired, but he has to start. Here's the system. Douglas from Tillemans. Look at this. Ball in behind. Fantastic pass there. Diaby. Diaby. Chips it up. Ollie Watkins, 1-0. What a fantastic Villa goal there. Fantastic. Ticket attacker. Well, I say that. It's just passing football in behind. Up to Watkins. And that is what you call a tapping. You don't miss that. Clever play there from Diaby. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Callum Wilson with the equalizer. Soon as he was in behind there, I just knew that was a goal. That is not how we wanted that to go. Newcastle back in it. Now he's Ganacho. Okay, nice control. He's got the pace. They've got a couple of men back. Well, I've got a bunch of men back now. They can't catch him, though. Here's Ganacho. Here's Ganacho. Ganacho chips the keeper. I was waiting for the keeper to go to ground. I don't know why he just doesn't come out earlier. Probably knows I'm going to chip him. Here's Tillemans. No point putting it in the box. I'll just shoot. What a goal. What a goal, Tillemans. This guy is incredible at shooting. Oh, that's a nice tackle there, Ramsey. This could be a third goal here. Here is Ollie Watkins. Jacob Ramsey tap it. There we go. It's 3-1. Later, Newcastle. Two goals ahead. Fantastic football intelligence from Ollie Watkins there. Takes it out wide. Creates even more space for Ramsey. It was that good. It was a tap in. Look at this dribbling here. Fantastic stuff from Ganacho. Spinning them in circles. Still Ganacho. A space to run into. Oh, could have been a pound there. He's going to put it across the box. What an assist. Ollie Watkins scores again. Ganacho could have gone down for a pen, I swear. Right there. He, he could off. But he puts it across the box. And that's a great assist. That's a great goal. Referee, blow the whistle. That should be full time. And that is what a win there. We're back in form. 4-1 win versus Newcastle. Oh, Aquiton Stanley now in the Cabo Cup. A 4-1 win. Getting the business done. Makoko with a goal. Douglas Lewis again. But when it comes to the Premier League, we have broken into the top four. Level on points with United to a fifth. But if we want to stay here, we have to get a big result here versus Spurs. And we have a very tired midfield. So Kamara comes in. McGinn comes in. I think in January, we probably sign a backup cam because we have no one who can play that. We only have two rotation midfielders. Sim in this because we've got so many big games coming up. It's a 1-1 draw. The Abbey of the go, okay, at least we don't lose it. When it comes to the group stage of the Champions League, three games played, nine points. So we're completely smashing it here. In fact, we're already qualified. Away to Rangers. We drop points. Ganacho with a brace. Now, we have a massive game against Arsenal coming up. And John McGinn comes to my office saying, boss, as you're not going to start Ramsey because of fitness, I think you should put me at that cam position. I feel I'd make more impact than at center mid. And I'd be able to lead the side back into the top four. I respond by saying, John, I wasn't too sure who to play that. that it's a position that I feel I need to sign depth in, but if you're willing to play then you do well, then you could be the rotation to Ramsey. The problem with Ramsey is he needs to rotate it constantly because he's always playing. His fitness isn't great. Kamara's going to come in for Douglas Luiz as well. McGinn gets a negative one, but it's fine. Makoko got that and he played okay there. Arsenal are in the banana skin for this one. This is actually Peu Torres who is on the ball. I didn't realize he's going on a bit of a run there. Ganacho. Oh, that's a nice tackle. Saliba, of course, playing for us now. First game versus his former club. McGinn making a run in behind. Okay, let's see how he's doing it. Cam then, first touch on the ball to the byline. Put, okay, he runs it out. Fantastic. Not a great first uh, impression. Ganacho's making a fantastic run, but we go for Diaby. Ganacho's getting back post. Yeah, come on, continue the run. He's going to have to pull this back. He's kept it in, though. That's the important thing. Here's Maddie Cash. Oh, what a save. Martinelli in behind for Gabriel Jesus. Nice tackle there. Perry Torres. Go on, stand him up. What a save. Three minutes, two minutes till halftime. It's going down quick. Can we even get to the other end before the ref blows? Here's Diaby on the ball. Ganacho back post. He may not need him. Here is Diaby. Oh, what a finish. On his left foot, Diaby with the goal. We are now in the lead. Fantastic stuff there from Villa. It just went around the keeper. Second goal is what we need here to finish this game off. Watkins, nice run. In behind. Nope. Oh, man. What a tackle. Ganacho's won it back. Pushed off the ball again. Another big tackle, Saliba. He's played well versus his former club. Would be amazing if he uh, 
But to score a header from a corner, imagine that. That would just be incredible. Here is Ollie Watkins to finish the deal. Trips the keeper and it's gone in. That's the second goal. We get the satisfying chip. Alt end erupts and that is fantastic. Look at that. Right before the keeper got to the ball. Defenders couldn't keep it out. That should be the three points. Completely forgot. If we won that game, we're back in the top four. So we are now fourth place on goal difference with United. We're actually above them on goal difference by one goal. And we actually now have United. We have so many big games coming at once. And this is just massive. Because if we lose here at Old Trafford, then yeah, we're three points behind United. If we win, three points ahead of them. But what do we do with the side? To be fair, McGinn did play all right in in that game. He did say I'd play Makoko in more matches, but just how do we get him in there, guys? You'd probably recommend the left-hand side, but Ganacho is one of our best players this season. He probably still is our top goal scorer. Do we start Lewis or Kamara this game? To be fair, Kamara did well last game against Arsenal. I was impressed. We haven't actually played played a whole lot with Lewis. He does feel like a very good player going forward. Seems better than Kamara going forward. Maybe Kamara's better defensively. Oh, this would just be incredible. This would be incredible. Oh, what a save. All right, we have a pen. Okay, who, who do we put on this then? We have so many good options. 57 penalties. Oh, this is incredible if he scores and embarrassing if he doesn't. I'm doing it. Ganacho. No, he misses it. He misses it. I was going to do the Ronaldo celebration. Old Trafford are probably laughing now. They're probably not. Here he is. Go on. Get your foot yeah. through it. What a save. This is not the hog the ball show with Ganacho, though. We do actually want to win this game. Anthony on the ball. Morada out wide. Fernandez back to Anthony. Get a foot in, please. Saliba. Yes. Anthony. Now I've got Morada. Oh, Rashford 1-0. We have like 10 minutes to play. This is going to be a dreadful result if we lose this. Oh, wow. Possibly our last chance. Here's Makoko. He's thrown goal. Massive chance. Makoko. What a save, Onana. Are you kidding me? And that's it. That's the loss. 90 minutes gone. 1-0. Rashid with the goal. We're now three points behind United. And after that, Ganacho comes to my office saying, Boss, I'm so sorry I missed that penalty. I shouldn't have even taken the penalty. This result is completely my fault. I respond saying, you're right. We shouldn't have put you on the penalty because you're aging experience. But if we won the game by one goal because of penalty, I wouldn't be happy because we wouldn't have created anything. We have two games left in the group stage. We are qualified. So how do we go about this? Makoko has to start. We'll bring in Kamara over Luiz, but I'm fully expecting to win this game. We're at home, Roma. They have one point so far. 2-0 win. Makoko and Jacob Ramsey. Now a tough game versus Everton. 3-1 win. There we go. Saliba with his first goal. Now Norwich away. Let's keep the momentum going. John McGinn. I rotated him in because Ramsey's fitness. We need to sign that cam. Or do we? Because McGinn seems to be doing all right. And Ganacho. We're back into form. We're winning all these games, but we're still two points away from top four, which is Arsenal. Don't forget, this time last season, we were undefeated. That's how good we were doing. I feel this side so much better and we actually play better. Now, this team is fantastic. We know that. But the question is, can they do it in a cold, rainy night in Stoke? Okay, they really can. Ganacho with a goal. Watkins, Diaby, and Luiz. Right now, Watkins and Ganacho on the same goals. 11. Watkins still may get 20 goals, but he's got to share them with Ganacho this season because he's doing so well. I mean, when we've needed Makoko, he has stepped up because he has five. But we have the final game of the group stage now versus Villarreal. And this is for the top spot in the group. Of course, if we get first, we get an easier draw in the round of 16. Oh, here's a big ball from us over the top. Makoko now to Ganacho. Back in the box. Here is Jacob Ramsey. What a save. Oh, but here comes Schick. He's thrown goal. This could be 1-0. Oh, what a save. A fantastic ball there. For Makoko, he is through. Can he get his goal? He's got his start. He's always good. What a finish. That is a fantastic finish there from Makoko. Two. Ten minutes to play. If they get a goal here, we could get a point and we'd still finish top. But Gallagher's through in behind again. How on earth is he doing this? He could nope. get a goal. What a block. Now here we come. Here is Makoko on the ball. Tillerman's making the overlapping run. We got wide to Marino. Marino, back to Tillemans. The run there, Makoko. Still got the ball, though. Here's Kamara. Nice pa pass to Bailey. Out wide to Diaby. Here's on side. 
Here is Bailey. What a goal. 2 0, Villa. There we go. Top of the group. Going into the round of 16. And there it is officially. 16 points is what we finish on. Undefeated in the Champions League group stage. But the round of 16 has been drawn. And my goodness, the side we are facing. This is not an easy draw. It's Barcelona. My beloved Barcelona. Two clubs with the same kit colors. In fact, Aston Villa once beat Barcelona in the UEFA Super. Cup 3-0 the year after they won the Champions League. That may be the last time they played. Surely they've played since then. Leon Bailey, his contract is actually expiring in six months and this may be a little bit tough to sign because he wants an important first team player which would mean he will be angry because he won't get as much game time as he gets right now. A three-year deal. Okay, we'll do that. I will set a release clause on him though. You can have a release clause of 60 million. He'll probably say no. He says Yes. Okay, if someone pays 60 million, they can have him. Wages, though, 90k a week. And of course, he says yes. And the reason I sign that now is because January is half a month away. We have 163 million. We will make a signing, and we are one point away from fourth place Liverpool. We need to battle for fourth spot. I say a backup cam, so get your suggestions down below on who that may be. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, turn the bell on. Want to see a Chelsea career mode? Then click here.